Excuse me, but could I ask you to do something for me? Pray, will you listen to this poor beggar? I'm looking for my daughter and require your assistance. I used to run a prosperous shipping business out in Nagasaki. That is, until my ships were wrecked in the great earthquake and I lost my wife to disease. In order to make a fresh start here in Yokohama, I put my daughter in a geisha house, telling her I'd be back soon. The poor child believed me. Then, when my health started to fail, I went looking for her. And now I hear her contract's been bought, and she's gone away. Doubtless, it's too late for me to ask for forgiveness. But if I could have one last look, a photograph even, perhaps I could rest in peace. I haven't seen her in years, but she must be exceedingly beautiful, like her mother. Indeed, she has her mother's distinctive hair and features. You'll know when you see her. You're too kind. Now, my daughter's name is Risa. I would speak to the other geisha, but they refuse to see a beggar like myself. You saved my life. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Lisa? Yes, I used to work with her. Not many girls with names like that. Wait, did something happen to her? <laughs> so, her deadbeat dad had a pang of conscience, did he? Probably couldn't even recognize her face. Want me to pose as her? <laughs> A foreign merchant bought out her contract and now they live together. Here, I'll give you their address. <laughs>
I really must thank you. Thank you. Those expulsionists are truly an awful bunch. But tell me, why are you here? Surprised? You see, my mother was Dutch, and my father, Japanese. My father? Why? What could he possibly want all of a sudden? He abandoned me years ago. I know life's been tough for him, what with his business going under and mother passing, but I just started to forget about him. The selfish man. Ever since I can remember, my face has brought me nothing but pain. Even as a geisha, I had to dye my hair black. Is Papa really so ill? Very well then. You may take my photograph. Also, you can let him know that I'm happy. Took the photograph. Well, show it to me. Ah, oh, Lisa. Goodness. Look how beautiful she is. I really can't thank you enough. You've really given me hope. Ugh! <laughs> 
I've seen your metal. Would you mind doing me another favor? We're actually on the hunt for someone. The man who slew my brother and stole the family armor. My brother left behind a son. The boy is like a son to me. And I want him to have revenge, no matter what it takes. We'll take back the armor and make the killer pay with his life. Won't you lend your blade to our cause? You have my thanks. Our first objective is the armor, the pieces of which have been scattered among our man's lackeys. I've tasked my nephew with recovering one of them, and I want you to aid him. Once we have all of the armor, we'll go after the man at his residence. Covered the armor. All that remains is to cut down our man. That task falls to you, and you alone, my boy. I will not be there. You're the head of the family, not me. As your father's successor, honor demands you avenge him with your own hands. Wait, uncle. Are you saying you won't come too? I had assumed that you'd be at my side. I suppose so. Very well. I'll come too. Just remember that this is your fight. We will follow your lead. Understood, Uncle. And if you could humor me for one more request, please allow me to fight in this armor. It would feel as though Father is with me, lending me strength. I didn't expect this armor to weigh so much, but if it's the weight of familial duty, I'm sure I can bear it. 
Prepare to die. Thanks to you, I was able to settle an old score. I'm so grateful. If it's acceptable, I'd like to make another request. This armor I now carry is still too big for me. Will you please look after it until I am finally ready to wear it? <laughs> 